Here are some of the strangest pizza stories we've ever seen. This pizza party was out of this world. Astronauts on Expedition 53 made pizzas aboard the International Space Station for their movie night. Apparently, the recent supermoon wasn't entertaining enough. But pizza making was fun by itself, as they topped their crusts with sauce, vegetables, and pepperoni, which is not as easy as it sounds when there's no gravity. This dinner got 12 enthusiastic thumbs up. Is this a socially acceptable way to eat pizza for breakfast? Their reaction was shock and horror. Of <laughs> how, how dare you put that on a pizza? They call it Loopy Fruits Pizza, and its special ingredient is Fruit Loop Cereal. It's available at Fong's Pizza in Des Moines, Iowa. Co-founder Gwen Page says Curiosity is drawing in a lot of new customers. They, they kind of go in and they want to try it just to have that experience. And I think they kind of expect it to be gross. Um, but then they try it and they're like, oh, it's, I, I don't want to say it's good because everyone's so disgusted, but it's actually really good. Loopy Fruits is made from a standard pizza crust topped with a cream cheese and sour cream spread and covered with Fruit Loops and milky icing. While some pizza purists may be put off by this mashup, Paige says customers have been pretty excited to at least try it. This was another pizza scandal of sorts. In 2015, Pizza Rat captured the internet's heart with its determination to have a New York slice all to itself. But some claimed that the whole video might have been a stunt. Comedian Eric Yearwood says he once acted in a video known as Rat Selfie, in which he played a man who fell asleep on a subway platform and woke up to a rat crawling on him. As he shook the rat off, its foot supposedly snapped a selfie. He believed that Pizza Rat was also a hoax. So Inside Edition's Stephen Fabian went to the source, the man who shot the infamous Pizza Rat video, Matt Little. No, 100% real. Pizza was real, rat was real, video was real. It was the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen in my life. This high school senior's love of pizza was her ticket to the Ivy League. When Carolina Williams applied to Yale in 2017, the application asked her to write about something you love to do. Her response? Accepting those warm cardboard boxes at my front door is second nature to me, but I will always love ordering pizza because of the way eight slices of something so ordinary are able to evoke feelings of independence, consolation, and joy. Not only was Carolina accepted into Yale, she got a response back from the admissions officer saying, as a fellow lover of pizza, I laughed out loud, then ordered pizza after reading your application. But in the end, Carolina turned down Yale. Instead, she enrolled in Auburn University in Alabama. And it was a really hard decision for me to make, but I love the South and I to be closer to home. It probably didn't hurt that Auburn has a Papa John's on campus. 911, do you need police fire or medical? Pizza. This kid must have had an emergency craving when he called 911 to order pizza. Pizza. Please. Put mom and daddy on the phone. But as a precaution, police in Sanford, Florida went to five year old Manuel Bashera's home to check that everything was all right. It wasn't like he was starving and his parents were feeding him. That was not the case at all. Officer Sirlis Morales says when the police showed up, little Manuel knew he did something wrong. After explaining to him that it's wrong to use 911 this way, the officers confusingly did bring him a large pizza because they said they believed he learned his lesson. Be very careful, it's 550 degrees in here. But eating pizza can be risky. A study revealed that each year, 3,800 people suffer pizza-related injuries. They include cutting yourself while slicing the pizza and burning the roof of your mouth. Inside Edition's Allison Hall talked to a pizza maker about how to safely eat your favorite food. It could be as simple as letting the pizza cool down for a few extra minutes. What happens is the cheese and the sauce is extremely, extremely hot. If that cheese or sauce gets on your hands, you will have second degree burn. You're ready to eat because, again, it's not jiggling. It's the sauce and the cheese has solidified a little bit. Uh, the crust has cooled down a little bit. And again, just take a simple little bite. Don't shove a big chunk of pizza in your mouth and gobble down. I know you're hungry. I know you want that pizza. You're I dying do. to have it. Slowing down just a bit can prevent a lot of pain. 
And is this pizza recipe too extreme? It's being called the worst recipe ever. Something called the Pizza Dilla burned up the internet in 2019, featuring 33 ingredients and costing more than $150. Is it even worth the time, effort, and cost to make? Our Stephen Fabian put it to the test. Ooh, this is starting to look good now. But it turned out to be a daunting task. Just when you think it's got to be finished, there's more. And then we cap off this mixture of deliciousness with another tortilla that goes right on top. But no, there was more. After chilling the multi-layer quesadilla, it was then cut into wedges, breaded and deep fried. Then all the pieces are put together in a pan, dressed like a pizza and popped in the oven. Two and a half hours after he started, Stephen finally gets to taste his creation. I didn't think I was going to like it. It's actually kind of good. It's actually really good. <laughs> With a little patience and a lot of money and effort, the pizza dilla will make a tasty and unique meal. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano.